Okay, so in the last video, which kind of got cut off because of dead batteries, uh, we are going. We talked about uh, ferrying. We talked about ferrying a canoe across a river, and we used a right triangle to do that. And so I want to do the same idea without um, without a right triangle. So suppose we got a plane. Now, let's just start off with a fresh sheet of paper here. Okay. We got two cities. We got a city there, and we got a city here. And we know that these cities are let's say 100 kilometers apart. So now you'd think, well, if you want to fly from this city to that city, that what you should do is you should just get in your plane and you should just point from city one to city two and you're going to end up uh, at city two. But there's a wind. And so we're going to say that the wind is coming in like this direction, like here, and way up high we're going to say that that wind is traveling at say uh, 80 kilometers per hour. And your plane is, uh, let's say the speed of your plane is uh, 200 miles an hour, so 200 miles an hour um, don't know why I got stuck there oh my, my graphing calculator is kind of off right now there we go Okay, so uh, if we say 200, let's say 250 miles an hour divided by 1.6, let's say 160 kilometers per hour. So you can fly at 160 kilometers per hour. Okay, at what direction do you want to fly to get there? Okay, so now let's think about some compass readings here. Let's say that this is zero degrees on my compass, and let's say that I want to fly along this line, and let's say that that is 25 degrees. 25 degrees. And let's say that this is zero degrees up here, and let's call this uh, right in there 100 degrees. Okay, so let's go down and draw a little vector diagram here. What I have is I'm going to start, here's my origin, this is zero degrees. I've got a wind that's going this way, well that's not all that, well this isn't really to scale, I, I apologize for that. This is 80 kilometers per hour, and this is 100 degrees. And now my pl now I want to go up on a line like this, and so I want my if this if my plane can go at 160 kilometers per hour and the wind is 80 kilometers per hour I can fly twice the length of this vector so I'm gonna go something like this okay and so I need to know what angle do I fly at? 
Okay, so the key thing is, is if I don't know what angle to fly at, I can't get to my uh, destination. Okay, well we said this whole thing is 100, and then we're going to take off, so from here to here is 100, from here to here is 25, so this is a 75 degree angle right in there. Now, we can use law of sines to figure out that angle up there. So to figure out this angle up here, oh, I'm going to pull over to right there, and I'm going to say uh, the sine of A over A, I'm sorry, little a, equals sine of big B over little b, and so I'm going to say that A is equal to sine inverse of little a over little b times sine of big B. So A is going to be the sine inverse of, I want to find that angle, so this is little a, this is little b, this is big B, this is big A, so I'm going to say 80 over 160 sine 75. And I'm going to do that on my calculator. Shift sine. Uh, I know what 80 divided by 160 is. That's 0 0.5. Times sine of 75. Close parentheses again. So I get 28.9 degrees, so we'll call it 29 degrees. So I know that this is 29 degrees. But that, doesn't, that still doesn't tell me what angle I want to fly at. Well, here let's do a little bit of more math. This is also going to be zero degrees, so I just threw a, an extra zero degrees in there. Well, suppose this is, if this is 25, then this has also got to be 25. And if I make another little vertical right here, then, then this whole thing is 25. And well, let me let me see how I, I'm getting there. Um, this is 25. This is going to be so. This one I've actually, if I draw it to scale, it's actually going to be um, four degrees this way. So I'm actually going to want to fly at 300 and. 56 degrees. So my heading should be 356 degrees. Okay, now I think I just sort of sketched that out and I want to spend um, another video where I actually graph it out really nice so that you can see clearly that it ends up as 356 degrees. So I'll come back in my next video and do that.